Can you tell me your name and which organization you're from, please? I'm uh, El Cid Pangilina from uh, the Department of Education in the Philippines. Okay, and what does it mean coming to the conference today? Well, I've learned a lot uh, so far. Uh, I've seen how the education system in the UK has been uh, evolving yeah. and uh, the integration of ICT is something that uh, the Philippine Ministry of Education also uh, one of the priorities is also that. And, okay. and we see that there are a lot of potential for uh, improving teaching and learning using ICT. And you have to engage teachers in order to uh, make them uh, integrate uh, ICT in uh, teaching and learning. And how, what technology do you use in your project? Well, we've, uh, we've recognized that there's a range of technologies available, audio, radio, video, computers, the internet. Yeah. And uh, we have to recognize that you know, uh, there are teachers and places where you, know, you have to have appropriate uh, you know, technology. So in some areas, you might uh, have a situation where there's no electricity. Right. So you need you know, appropriate technology for those. So the range of, of, of technology that you have to put in place yeah. uh, must be in the context of where the teachers are. So you need to enable teachers to be able to use a range of technology because at the end of the day, it's a teacher who teach. Yeah. Right? And, and, and technology is really just a tool. Do you think there's a big gap between the technology in your country and what you've seen in England so far? Well, in terms of uh, you know, high tech, uh, yes. But uh, at the bottom, the bottom line is uh, still. I was in discussion with so, some some of your uh, teachers from uh, London Met, and you know it's it's the same basic principles that yeah. teachers need to be able to draw from their students and facilitate learning, rather than making use of technology and let technology teach. Because in the end, it's not yeah. it's not going to happen. Yeah. Can I ask you what does it mean to you coming to the conference? Well, I'm here because I'd like to represent the British companies in the Philippines yeah. so that we can offer alternative products for the Filipino students. Right, okay. Thanks very much. Thanks for your time. Okay. Could I just ask you both a similar question? Just once more. Have you, could you tell me a bit about the forums that you've, you've been to or the workshops or what, what you've been most interested in? Well, for me, it's more about harnessing technology and how we can use it for the schools in the Philippines because there's a big infrastructure gap between English schools and the Philippine schools. And if we can bring the knowledge back in our country that we can benchmark from the schools in, the, in England, then we can encourage the government, like for, for El Cid here, to bring in the uh, funds for us to, to make that a reality. Have you had much... Um, uh dealing with open source software or, or the, the open source technology? Yeah. Well, um, as government, we cannot be you know, one source or uh, we have to be open um, to lots of different sources of, of technology. You know, it can be open source, can be proprietary. Uh, but uh, more and more we see that you know, there are areas where you know, proprietary software are there and you know, teachers do not need to get trained in other uh, technology so harness what's available so and for those that are you know uh, open to using other technologies then therefore you know you can introduce these kinds of free and open software All right, thank you thank you and mabuhay say long life it's oh, mabuhay mabuhay yeah say again mabuhay mabuhay which is long life oh, love that. thank you thank you